All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have a coffee review. This is from the Trader Joe's Small Lot Coffee Offerings. It's a medium roast. It's called Tropical Bahia Brazil. For medium roast, it's a little more on the dark side. Consistent bean size for the most part. It says here, unlike most coffee grown regions in Brazil, the northeastern state of Bahia boasts heavy rains and high humidity during the harvest season. While it's an ideal climate for coffee cultivation, the wet weather isn't quite as conductive to the drying process. So once picked, the beans in Trader Joe's Tropical Bahia, Brazil are hauled to sunnier neighboring regions in closed trucks. Along the journey, the ripe coffee cherries begin to naturally ferment and it's this spontaneous fermentation that ultimately gives the coffee its unique character, balanced acidity and sweet fruity flavor. Which is interesting because I thought of most of the Bahia coffee blends were natural or uh, sun dried in their processing, but they this one apparently is done in covered trucks. So we will weigh this out, grind it up, get some water started and see what it tastes All right, like. a couple interesting things to note as I was looking through this one, it does say 100% Arabica beans, which Brazil grows a lot of Robusto beans. So <clears throat> I prefer Arabica, that's good to know. Also, if you look real close, there is some color, uh, different variations in the roasting level. So some are pretty dark, some are uh, the, darker end of medium. So, oh, I'm getting some fruity notes off of that, off of those beans. Healthy looking creme on there. I'm getting notes of leather, fruit, cinnamon, chocolate. All right, we're gonna let this brew, give it a taste. Hmm, it has some wood notes here on the aroma. Definitely chocolate. Raisin nut, a raisin note. And uh, yeah, some cinnamon too. So let's see if it tastes the same way. The first thing you notice is it's very creamy. There's a velvety creamy to the body of this coffee. Creamy, there's a, so it hits you with the cream, the, the creamy texture first, and then you get a little zing of acidity at the end. I think it says, balance the acidity. It's like, not 50% balance, it's like 60% on the acidity end, which uh, I like an acidic coffee. You don't get it at first, but it, it leaves it on the back of your tongue with that long finish on the flavor. There's some wine, red wine notes to this, and the, part of that fruit, and I would almost say it's like a plum, like a sweet plum. Almost milk chocolate, but a little more on the on the dark end of a, of a milk chocolate, like right between dark chocolate and milk chocolate.
And then the subtle flavors are a little cinnamon, a little wood, a little earthiness. Mm. Very good. I think tropical is appropriate in the title because of that fruitiness. It does feel sort of tropical. It's uncharacteristic of a Brazilian coffee. It reminds me more of uh, African, reminds me of African coffee, I'll be honest. There's a, a hint of Central American, but it's, it's much, it tastes more, much more like an African coffee. All right, let's give this thing a score. We're gonna give this an 8.9, very good. Trader Joe's, like I said, it's part of the small lot coffee series, so it won't be there forever. Uh, I'm filming this in September of 2024, so it's probably gonna be there close to near the end of the year, so check it out if you have a Trader Joe's in your area. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment if you've tried this or have a similar experience. But most importantly, pray hope, don't worry, and drink coffee.